You've recently seen a Swiss watchmaker, Maxim, a what? A Swiss watchmaker Maxim machine gun. Full metal and with its own tripod and all functional movable parts. Where was that? Museum or private collection? I, you, you, people will probably think, what a stupid question, it's not going to be in a private collection. But there's a guy who lives just down the road from me, has a private collection of World War II anti-tank guns in his barn. I think he's got every British anti-tank gun. From the uh, the boys' anti-tank rifle up to the 17-pounder. We can't take any more of that. Okay. Anything else? I mean, there's there's stuff. Search the cabinet. Is it worth looking for? This is a shithole. There's a video on the. Uh, Forgotten weapons? Oh, cool, yeah. Dropped on Discord. There's a card on the table. Cheers, Pedro. I didn't notice any cards. Got some ground coffee. Oh, I see. Little playing card. Hey, it was lit up. Okay, thanks. I totally missed that then. This is not lighting up for me. There we go. It feels a bit... Controls feel a little bit janky with uh, how we have to line yourself up to be able to pick things up. Emmett Granger? The Outlaws, Series 1. Frank Heck, Otis Miller Boys, Jack Hallgang, Butcher Brothers, Flacco Hernandez, Slim Grant, we have to go and see Hernandez, Landon Ricketts, Black Bell, Billy Midnight, Emmett Granger, Jim Roy Calloway, Jim Boy Calloway, and Bart Love. Does that, do you think I, I missed one at um, Emmett Granger's house? I wonder. Cigarette cards, famous set. Anything else? Let's take a look. How do I get up there? Turn around, god damn it. And this I'm full. Take biscuits. Search the cabinet. Four assorted biscuits. How oh, nice. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. The looting in this feels so... I mean, not I'm running around out of the bodies, that's not so bad, but running around in buildings feels an utter pain in the ass. So I, I'll try and just check for, for general items that we need in future, I think. So if this isn't like Kingdom Come then, you can't like strip the weapons of, of all the dead. I suppose if you did, you'd be able to make a fortune in no time and it'd be a bit too easy. Leave him, piggy. Mine. So where's the damned hoss? Well, stamina's going up. Oh, I, I, so they will go up as I train them. I, I'm slowly understanding how the core and the outer works now. Dare say that bear pelt. Something's knackered anyway. Maybe it was the horse or the rabbit, not the horse. I remember getting a message that something had died and gone off. Hundred, what, 144 of those cards? That's a lot of cards. Right, and we need a new objective because we've been seeing Black Bell. Uh, we don't need to go there. Looks like there's a new town over there. Oh, we're like quite a way over from where we started. Well, wherever it is, it'll, if we need to go back, it'll take us there. Let's go and see uh, Billy Midnight. Let's go for it. Does it have a map? It goes into the unknown. Oh, tell you what, should we go and see what this is first? Let's go and see what that is. It might be a new stable or something. Yeah. <laughs> this is a proper shithole. So we've gone from snowy peaked mountains, which is kind of nice, 
to um, beautiful sort of forest. Some open land. And now we're in a swamp. Pigs can go through the toughest muscles, grit and bone like pigs are dangerous killers. Out of all the uh, farm animals in the UK, I think pigs are the most dangerous to work with. Oop, was that, that was a corpse hanging. Should I go back and take a look? Yeah. Yeah, I think those wild pigs will uh, take care of those bodies pretty quickly. my instincts want to rob these people but I feel like the loot system for doing that is more hassle than it's worth yeah. tell you what this sat nav on the minimap is really good surprised uh, Clint Eastwood didn't have one in his films I can't understand why So this looks a little run down. Or graveyard. Easy. Anything obvious? Anything flashing? Nothing flashing? I guess we move on then. I might go and see what that says, just yeah. Hang on, hang on, what 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 what? Stay out plague. Okay. Well, it could be genuine that, so we shall uh Tell me to go back on the road. Seems to be a rather roundabout way. I know, I remember the pigs from Snatch. Apparently they're the perfect way to dispose of bodies. Haven't tried it myself. I did like Snatch. Snatch, jump to the wagon. Good morning. morning. I was going to try and chat with him. I don't think he's very talkative. Yeah, Snatch was great. It was in the same sort of vein as Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, which is another fantastic film. Uh, and I haven't seen that for years. I don't mind watching that again. I have watched a few movies over Christmas. I took out a Now TV Sky Cinema Pass. Oh, hang on. Here we go. I've got another guy caught in a bear trap. Let's hope I do better than the last one here. Uh, let's have a look. Easy. I've been bitten by a snake. By a snake, you say? I need medicine. Suck out the venom. I'm not giving it. Suck the venom out. You, I no. We've only just met. I don't want to die. This. Have a health cure. I'll pick another one up from somewhere. Thank you. Thank you. I might regret that. I owe you one, Mister. Got that right. Don't you forget it. Should have just shot him. I gotta get out of here. I was mighty tempted. I should have just shot him. I think. What was he doing to get Just bitten on the groin? Snakes, all right? So, apart from that increasing my honorability, I think that was a complete waste of time. There was no profit in it. So anyway, yeah, back to movies. What were we talking about? I saw a few. Um, most of which have been bad. I watched Captain Marvel. Which was really disappointing. Didn't like that at all. Um, oh, Bohemian Rhapsody, the, you know, the Freddie Mercury uh, kind of movie. That was good. I, I enjoyed that. That was a lot better than I expected. What was that in the woods? You stay here. Oh, they're just different deer? I thought one of them was completely white, like an albino. That would have been worth hunting, maybe. 
You won't regret it. These people do remember and I'll be rewarded later. Glad you said that, Pedro. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered at all. Yeah, Bohemian, Bohemian Rhapsody was really good. Um, I'm surprised it was only a 12. Because uh, my kids ended up watching it too. But the, the bid at the end, uh, where they play the qu Queen set from um, Live Aid, that was fantastic. And the whole film, I enjoyed it a lot more than I expected to. Oh, I'm supposed to ride into this, aren't I? It's by walking. Does it do nothing? Cart repairs. These people have anything to say or not? Stable owner. I'm guessing not. On, Dink. You what? Get the heck off this Just right now. don't you don't you even think Have about it. it. Learn you to this people are very quick to pull guns out in this uh, location. Very quick. You're looking forward to seeing 1917. I'm a little bit reticent about um, watching that because I suspect it'll be from the trailer it looks like it's over Hollywooded and uh, I know we don't necessarily want to see a perfect realistic depiction of life in the trenches in 1917 but um, that one might just from the trailer it might take things a bit too far and that sometimes detracts from uh, like a war movie for me but we'll see we'll see can we manage the owned horses from here? There's Pedro. There's a Tennessee Walker. Oh, I can. And the Shire. I think I should sell that one. I, I get 520 for it. Hang on. I thought the guy offered me $65 for that. Hmm. You know, I've lived here my whole Pedro life. is actually doing Seems pretty well. Go through hell and back and I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, $65 would have been a hell of a price. Is that... But the guy did offer me that, though, I think. Maybe I get more money at that particular stable. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go back one. Uh, let's see what's for sale. An Ardennes horse. $140. Ha. Like I can afford that. These have got more courage than any man. Uh, attack and services. Equipment. Saddles. You know, a horse can tell As I, I, no, so. there's no point in me even looking because I don't know if it, there's, there's no stats or anything to them, so. Maybe that's for something later in the tutorial. Who knows? Anyway, that's what I came looking here for, just to get that location on. And now we're going to Billy Midnight. You're a massive fan of the World War One movies? All Quiet on the Western Front, Beneath Hill 60. Passchendaele, Gallipoli I've seen, Warhorse I've seen, and They Shall Not Grow They Shall Not Grow Old. Is that the one that Peter Jackson did? Um, where he sort of uh, colorized old footage and, and not speeded it up, but put it in the correct frame rate and stuff. That's the one, yeah. That was a fantastic piece of um, film, that. Uh, the, well, it was like it, more of a documentary than a, than a movie, but or I consider it. Uh, but it's one of the probably the probably the best certainly the best World War One yeah. film I've I've seen. Uh, it was quite heartrending that one, and really good stuff that they've done with the the video and things. We've got a camp over here. I've got to go take a look. So this is this is potentially going to be really bad. You discovered a gang camp, enemy gang. Camps can be a good source of supplies. Hardly said a word. Do I go in? I mean, we know what it is. Or do I wait and see if there's a bounty for them or something? I know where it is anyway and come back. You'd recommend watching Beneath Hill 60? Is that like a documentary type or is that more like um, um, just a regular movie type? I've got to stop going at full tilt with my horse because it will it will tire it out. Damn, I miss my old horse. 
Can we chat? Jump to horse and knock him off it. That would be quite intimidating if some guy like just rode up right next to you and just stared at you. I like my space, and you ain't giving it to me. I'm not. Boom. You want me to put a in your there we go again. People are mighty suspicious. Mighty suspicious. All the man wanted was a little bit of company on the road. Well, it's a very pretty place. Well, it looks like we're getting into some open farmland here. It's quite nice how they've got um, like really varying terrain. Oop, I've gone the wrong way. Oh, there's a dead guy and a gun. Easy now. Take a look at this. It's not a guy. It's a black woman. Loot the stranger, okay. Letter from Annette to Claude. Okay, that's going to be something to... This starts a quest. Read. Annette, I did not want to write this letter. I thought it had been clear at the stable. And clear again when you wait for me outside the general. Harriet was still inside. She still could have not seen you. It's a miracle she did not know. Now I know I made promises to you. And I know the time we had was good. But Harriet is my wife. And if she's willing to give me another chance. I need to give her and myself that opportunity. I cannot know you any longer. Please stop looking for me in town. Please stop leaving me packages at the post office. Please, for the love of God, please do not approach Harriet. I do care about you, but I cannot have you in my life anymore. Leave me and my family alone, Claude. Hmm, scumbag, I think. Anything on the back? Okay, and flip. Does that start a little quest? Come on, there's a gun down there, but there's a great big machete. Is that what I'm... I can't seem to... Can't seem to pick either of them up. For all it says there's a gun there. I don't know whether I'm doing something wrong with the loot system or whether it's intentionally saying, no, you've got a better gun than that, Mark. You're not going to pick that up. I don't I don't really know. Weird. Beneath Hill 60 was about the real life story about the Australian tunnelers in the period of the longest battle in history and Verdun. Oh, I don't know. I know a bit about the Battle of Verdun, but because. Here's a weird thing, because it like, uh, it was, it was, I don't know, there will have been some British personnel involved in some respect, but it was, it was a, a French versus German battle. And as such, it's not been as covered in, as well, in the British history books as things like uh, the Somme, which obviously had a huge focus on the British army. French army was involved as well, and they did better than the British, but, uh, um, what the hell's been going on here? This is like a, a massacre. Take the bourbon. I'll take that. Do you think because it's underground warfare? That was scary stuff, what they had to do in those tunnels. Scary stuff. Did you see the documentary where they, uh, they excavated a tunnel that was used, was it the Battle of the Somme? I don't know. I forget which battle it was. There was one where the British made these giant flamethrowers, which they had to uh, take in underground tunnels. And they were fueled by compressed air. Or they were powered by compressed air, rather. And then at the, at the time of the attack, they would shoot these nozzles, well, push these nozzles up through the surface and fire 100-foot-long jets of flame over the German trenches. Yeah. And those things were so scary, they were... They were instantly banned at the Geneva Convention afterwards. Terrible, terrible things. Yeah, I saw the recreation that the modern um, the engineers did. <laughs> Use it. I think they were using some sort of diesel fuel, weren't they? Um, by God, that was just absolutely terrifying. Could you imagine being caught under that, or or seeing your mates caught under it in you know down the trench next to you? That's just. Just horrendous. If I search this, what do I get? We got some... We got a chocolate bar. Nice.
And $15. Well, that was worth going through. Anything else in here? There's a sideboard. Well, look at that. Yeah, there's a lot of really horrible things invented in World War One, All with the aim of killing people faster and en masse. Like, I mean, it's terrible stuff. All right, there's a saddle. I can't do anything with the saddle, right? No. Well, that was a nice little distraction. I wonder if that letter has something to... There will have been an address on the envelope, maybe. Oh, well, if we ever bump into anyone called Claude, we shall shoot him. You thought the scariest sound in the world is a Soviet Katyusha firing? The rockets? Oh, the... the um... Oh, did I just accidentally jump over a fence there? Cool. Flamethrower was scarier. I can't remember the sound it made. I just remember seeing the, the, the billowing gouts of flame. Hang on, Horseman 1. One of five horseback rabbit kills. Did I just get a kill there just for riding over it? Nice. Oh, well. What's that thing? Is that... Go, Roach. Oh, it's, I'm not in Roach anymore. It's a turkey. It is a turkey. I'm going to stand on it. If I ride around the circle enough, I'm going to eventually run over it, surely. Where's he gone? Uh, oh, well. Not that we need to get a turkey. We don't. Wait, there he is. I heard him. I heard him. There he is. Yep. <laughs> oh, I don't get I don't get anything for that. <laughs> okay, I'll leave it. Leave it well alone. Letter explains the two Oh, there's two dead bodies? I only saw one. Oh well, I must have missed that. You reckon uh, today are weaklings real wars with swords and pikes? Well, you can have your sword and pike. And I'll have my flamethrower. And assault rifle. And some ammunition for it. Well, that was a bit bold, wasn't it? Is that, is that, am I back to the gang place? Yes, I am. I feel like I should get involved here. Oh my god. Are these like ex ex Confederate soldiers? I mean, they've been like waiting a long time for their revenge. Just get into cover, get into cover. This is this is going bad. Have I got no um That should do it. They're still alive? Whoops. Duck. Holy crap, he's still alive! Not now he's not. Okay, that was a little little trickier than I was expecting. Uh, what can we eat? Weapons, items, what have I got? I got potent predator bait. Beans. Let's eat some beans. Give me a flamethrower without gas and a assault rifle without bullets. Yes, then you might have a bit of an advantage over me. <laughs> I'm a policeman. You're a policeman, eh? Hmm. They got me tied up. Hmm. Do we let him go, chat? I mean, he is the police. Sir, 
It is your duty to free me. Antagonize, aim weapon, greet. Deputy. Look, them raiders blindsided me. Tied me up for some kind of ransom, I suppose. Guess that was paid, though, wasn't it? Now, come on. I'm going to get out of this. And when I do, you'll have something to answer for. Me? Mister. Me? I've just, I've just... There you go. Thank you. Thank you. God damn these bastards. Get out of here. Before any more of them come along. Lemoyne okay. Raider. There might be Cue. some things here if you want them. Campfire? I don't want the campfire. Guess I'm one of the good guys. That was weird, because I for a moment I thought he was gonna like arrest me or something. Okay, let's see. Loot oh my god, there's gonna be so much stuff to loot here. Thanks again, citizen. And I think my bags are full. No new guns. Those guys were tough to kill, by the way. Lemoyne Raiders letters. We're up. Damn! I was too slow with that. I think I should have taken a look at that. What have we got? Lemoyne Raiders letter. Holy crap. Anything on the back? No. William, I'm right to let you know our raids against the Jayhawkers in Lawrence, Kansas have been successful. There are many times since we set out on this campaign that I doubted there was a god who loved us, but today I have a glimmer of hope. That they call us Lemoyne Raiders bushwhackers and border ruffians does not diminish our fight for a free state and to be free from the incursions of northerners set and changing our way of life. I hope you'll continue to work to recruit more young men to our cause here in Lemoyne. We will ride through their ranks and smite down the oppressors. History is not over. It shall be rewritten. It's always darkest before dawn. William Marcus Anderson. Escape. Huh. I guess people are still fighting the Civil War here. No, don't pick him up. Actually, he does look like, a, like he could have been a veteran 35 years ago, which made him about 55. That's a thing? <laughs> okay, that's a thing. I didn't know that. Well, if we need to get rid of any bodies... Is he going to have trouble pathing to... I got me a peach. I'll take me some corn as well. Apparently I'm cooking men now as well, yeah. We got some vegetables. We could throw it all in the fire. Wow, that's actually made a horrendous mess of that guy. We were just talking about flamethrowers and stuff. That is that is grim. Suddenly I don't feel so hungry. I wonder what we've we got worth having. There's some boxes of There's a hat. Oh, I'm not taking a Confederate hat. Having said that, it's not letting me even pick it up. Not from this side, anyway. Oh, do you know what? The, the looting system in this is... That's canned vegetables. Right, so we've got that on. It's... it's, it's I'm kind of looking at it. Okay. Maybe I'm not meant to... It, it's flashing, but maybe I'm not meant to pick it up. I don't know. Oh, I can! There it, no. I finally got it, but I don't want it. I was thinking, pick it up and take it as a disguise, but... Uh, we don't. Hey, Nezadam. How are you tonight? Oh! Hang on. Oh, well. We'll chuck it. I only wanted to loot him, actually, but... These do look like old guys, so... It could have been... Uh, Fight in the Civil War. Let's go and throw him on the fire because I want to see that again. This is bizarre. I've never seen a game do this. Where was it? About here? This should do it, shouldn't it? Nope, I missed it there. Hang on, let's try that again. Right, let's go for here. That ought to do it. Got his hand over there. Is that one not working? Okay, that's that's weird. That is weird. Let me see. Do I have any bloody alcohol in this? Yes. What's this stuff? 
This is alcohol. Kentucky. Yeah, drink the stuff. It's going to hurt me a bit, actually. It'll do. 